soapbox. I don't forget the day. I want to say it's Tuesday. I could be wrong, but I think it's Tuesday. Anyways, um, I want to share with you. Oh, you guys are probably going to agree with me, but it's fine. Um, so John has always told me that the, uh, you know, if you're good in life, <laughs> Hi, Jessica. I love your cheetah little pants. They're so cute in my little text message. Anyways, John told me that if I was good in life, like if I did good things and did good by people, that good things would come in return, okay? Tomorrow's a big day. I can't share with you guys exactly what tomorrow means or what's happening tomorrow. All I can say is that tomorrow's a big day. And so I've uh, been told by John all my years of life with him that uh you know if i am good to people and good in life that good things will come in return now i've always been the person that's been this is half empty not half full and um negative nancy because that's who i am i'm negative nancy right so i mean i can't change who i am all i can change is like you know all right, I'm going to be good to people and people are going to be good to me and things are going to be good because I'm good to people. But I just want to make sure things are really going to pan out tomorrow. So anyways, you guys are probably wondering what the hell is going to happen tomorrow. I'll go on my live tomorrow. You guys will find out exactly what's going on and I'll give you guys an update on what's what. Today has been a good day. Um... Besides the fact that I've been in pain. And I'll be totally honest with you guys because I'd be bullshitting you guys if I told you any different. I don't care. I just ate what I want today. I was going to be in pain regardless. It's irrelevant. I'm a soldier. I'll ride through it. I'll get over it. It's not the end of the world. It's pain. Get on with your life. Okay? So that's just how it goes. It's not, you know, anything special when you got to just roll through your day. That's just what it is. <laughs> you got to do it. So um, anyways, I do have to share with you guys that <laughs> this is kind of funny, actually. So... There's people that like write us and they write us like the stupidest things I've ever seen in my whole life. Um, like people will write us if, like if they're taking something like off the street or if they are taking something that's not prescribed or whatever. And we don't judge, okay, by any means, but we don't condone by any means. So, you know, that's where I come into play with this whole thing because I'm like, you know, we don't judge, we don't condone, but we make sure that we make sure you're healthy. You know, it really sucks for people that are out there that um, don't do the right thing by people in general, like by their health. Now, granted, we might have somebody that complains about a tracking number here and there. They didn't get their stuff on time or whatever. The end of the day, Okay, this is a true story for you guys out there. End of the day, we put health as number one. That is number one to us. Nothing else matters. So if you come to us and your liver enzymes are high, we want clearance. If your kidney functions are abnormal, we want clearance. If your PSA, which is your prostate reading, comes back and it's abnormal, we want clearance. That's just what we want. We're not just going to give you whatever. We're not going to just um, prescribe whatever just because we want the money. I know there's some clinics out there that do that. I won't say any names, but they do it. And it's fine. I mean, it just sucks because, you know, when you're really, like, when you're really in tune to the medical field, you start feeling for people out there that go to other clinics that really don't give a shit. And it's bothering. It does. It bothers me. It bothers me, like, deep down inside in like a very, very, very deep way. I've been in the medical field for 14 years. I'm going on 15 and it just bothers me. It bothers me like deep down inside that, you know, there's people out there that just don't give a shit and they'll just sell you whatever and do whatever. And that's besides the point. So, I mean, regardless, we've had people that have text us and they write in there and they're like, I'm taking this, 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 and that. And I'm taking this balls and D balls and C balls and G balls and whatever else kind of things are made in bathtubs out there. And I tell them, I'm like, dude, do you know what you're taking? Do you know like what's been made in that bathtub? Do you know the sterility of it? Do you know the potency of it? Probably not. So to put it in your body is probably not a good idea. It's probably a bad idea. Hey, 
I'm not judging. All I'm trying to do is make sure that you don't die. So anyways, all about the money. Yeah, listen, we were never about the money. It never has been about the money. Money's been a byproduct of just doing the right thing, and that's just what it is. Sarah, I see that you popped on here. You are by far one of my favorite people on the planet, and I wish you lived here in Tampa because you would rock it with Titan. And, uh, you know, if you want to work remotely, I shall accommodate accordingly anyways hugo what's up what's up i want to say hi to everybody tonight i do have a long day ahead of me tomorrow um i haven't quite got out like over my gallbladder issue at the end of the day guys i'll be totally honest with you it doesn't matter i mean it's it's irrelevant you know you got to get up you got to do what you got to do i'll eventually get to myself i promise I eventually will take care of what I need to take care of and whatever the hell is going on that's causing me pain and not feeling good. But in the meantime, I got to do all the rest of the things. I got to check emails, make sure everything's perfect, make sure the patients are happy, make sure things are going right. So that's why I get so upset when things go wrong or when somebody's upset. It bothers me, like genuinely bothers me. Jenny, everybody is first. Patients are first. That is 100% correct. So anyways, um... I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cap out for tonight because tonight's been a long night. And I will see you guys tomorrow. My soapboxes are coming short because in all honesty, I don't have time for soapbox. I told John I would do a soapbox for him and you know put on here like what real life is. But in all honesty, I'm like exhausted. I mean, my mother doesn't even get a call from me. Like, she's lucky if she gets a call once a week. Literally. And she gets super pissed off about it. Like, super. So, um, yeah. You know, it is what it is. I try to hop on here and tell you guys, like, what my day has been like and what's going on. You know, obviously, it's been a long day. Super long day. On top of the fact that we have a long day tomorrow. Um, this upcoming weekend, we do have a Lux um laundry fashion show over at water so hopefully i'll be able to make that wonderful fashion show and see what's going on in my cabana because regardless i have my cabana number four <laughs> yeah donna um but anyways so i'm gonna let you guys go today's been a long day i just had to make sure that <sighs> you know that john's got to be right 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 like you guys agree that you know john says that if you do the right thing the right things come back to you is that what's supposed to happen? Mm, we'll see. I guess we shall see what happens this week. So, I know not everything can be perfect. But, I've always been the old school person, you know? I'm not, uh, I know I look like nice and I'm like, cheese. But in all honesty, yeah. You know, I handle it the old school way. But the old school way is not the way to do it anymore. You got to do it by the book. So everything's done by the book. Got to do it by the book. And um, in all honesty, John has really changed my outlook on how things are, how things are done, and how I look at things. And I still look at things half empty. <laughs> Nothing is half full by any means. But he does bring some positivity into my life to make sure that I don't think everything is negative. Okay, because I always think worst case scenario, because if you think worst case scenario, when the worst case scenario happens, then you can't be mad, right? Because you've been prepared for it, like mentally, emotionally, right? Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Anyways, I know I'm right. Okay, if you mentally prepare yourself and emotionally prepare yourself um, and physically prepare yourself, for the worst possible scenario, then if and when the worst possible scenario like happens to you, then you're ready for it. And you're ready for it all the way through. That is my philosophy. It cannot be the best philosophy. He has the positive end. I have the negative end. We channel both of those ends into our child, Peter, to make sure that he has the best of both worlds. So anyways... I think my hair needs to be washed because it's mad nasty from Gasparilla. Gasparilla was Saturday. Today is Tuesday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's four days of grossness in my hair. Yeah, needs to be washed. Okay? 
So I'm gonna go and wash my hair because it's disgusting. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Hopefully I'm right. Hi, Peter. I'm on live. <laughs> See, now my child knows I'm on live. Isn't that sad? Hi, Neil. I love you. I know you hate when I call your name out on this live thing. Come say hi. Come say hi. Okay. Come say hi. <laughs> Peter doesn't want to show off his Spider-Man scrubs. That's fine. Anyways, much love to you guys. Sending my love. I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Soapbox Tuesday is over. And I'll talk to you soon.